In 2010, the creators of Shrek, Madagascar, and Kung Fu Panda invite you to hold on for the 3D ride of a lifetime. DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon. Training begins 2010 in 3D. Hello everybody! Jumpsexy01, Ron Victor here, and I'm sorry if the camera is a bit wonky, I guess I can say. Just my tripod is very fussy, and so I apologize if the lighting is crap because. I start okay, I watched all previous movies today. I started at one and I ended at seven. I've got no idea how it took that long, but it did. <laughs> so ten years <laughs> I can't believe it. Ten years I've been watching these movies for ten years. Because if you don't know, at the date of me releasing this, this movie will be now 10 years old in England. Because it was released March 31st in England. So, so, so as from my point of view, this, this movie will, t will, will turn 10 on March 31st. <laughs> which, which, will, which will be hopefully, hopefully be, be the day that I'm uploading this. Because if you couldn't tell, I'm not uploading this on the anniversary day. So, I spent all day watching these movies. Now, I haven't watched any of the shows. I would have if I wasn't watching a certain other fantasy show that takes a really long time to watch, which took up most of my time for the last two weeks. In which I'm on to the and which I'm which I'm on to the last season, which I've already seen. Meanwhile, I haven't seen the other seasons previous to watch to me watching the final season. That was a mouthful. <clears throat> Anyways, I think we should get on with this because you don't have all day. I don't have all day, especially since especially since f f the day's pretty much over. We should talk about how the first how to train your dragon. I just realised I've been look I haven't been I haven't been looking at the camera. Um, there you go. Now make sure to look at the camera. Look at the camera. There we go. Okay. How to train a dragon. The first one. I think I don't need to turn this around so I won't be distracted by it. Where will I start? I think for all of, I think for these movies, I should start with my thoughts on the movie. Now, as for the story goes, this movie has the story of this movie is perfect. Even though I will I will say it's quite disappointing that there's a few cliches in there, and which I agree. Oh, you lied to me, and. And, and the mother being dead and, and classic cliches like that. Those are my only complaints of the actual story. And another complaint is that the animation hasn't aged well. Apart from that, I don't have much to say. Because I'll say that for every single one of these movies. Rewatching them today. They were still good, just not as good as I remember them being. That's not because the quality has dropped or my personality has changed. I know why. It's because I I don't know why. But but say for example, if I watched a movie and I watch it again a week later, since there hasn't been that long in between me watching the in between me watching it. It won't be as good as it was for the, la the, fir for the time I watched it a few weeks before. I don't know if that works, but if but if you want to know my brand new fresh thoughts on this movie, last year I made a video about How to Train a Dragon, 
in which that I we watched further movie for the first time in years, and now it's head over heels with it. So I'll acknowledge that 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 this movie didn't have as much as much of an impact as it did last time, because it's only been a year since since I've watched it. So, since I don't have that much to say about the story and the animation, I'll just talk about my experiences around the movie. I don't know how I came across this movie. I know I went to see it at theaters. I don't. I. I. I don't. I don't remember how I was. I don't know how. I, how I was advertised. I don't know how I. I don't know why I went to see this movie. I can't remember. My parents can't remember. The only th actually, actually, I remember two things about this. One thing that I remember is that is that in it was being in the theater. I remember it was during the scene with the Red Death, and I needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> so I remember walking out of this, walking out of the screen that that, 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 that we were at, just turning around. And seeing this massive dragon setting boats on fire. That's the weirdest thing to remember. Going to see going to see a movie, and the only part and the only part I remember about that experience ten years later is me going to the toilet. Oh, and another experience I've got is Okay. This isn't to do the cinema. This is when I got the actual DVD. Okay. I got this along with The Legend of a Bone Napper. I do have that DVD. It's just downstairs at the moment and I can't be bothered to go, to, to go and get it. Okay. If you guys know, well, know what I'm on about. DVDs have these things in the side of them to stop you from opening it. Okay. This one had it and the Bone Napper DVD have it, had it. Now. Luckily, as you can tell, this came out perfectly fine. Meanwhile, in the progress of opening the Bone Apple DVD, I absolutely destroyed the box. <laughs> uh, if, if if you watched my previous video, I might have sh if, if if you watched my video from last year, I might have shown it. I don't know. But. <sighs> What else is there to say about this movie? At some point in the future, I hopefully plan to go in depth with every single one of these movies because I love all three of them, and I really want to dive into these movies and make and make like a whole entire scrofulous video about these. I would love to do that, but 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 now the problem is the problem isn't finding the time. The problem is now. Encouraging myself to do it, since I guarantee it wouldn't get that many views. So, How to Train a Dragon, great movie, amazing movie. Now, four years in between these movies, and of course we had the show in between them, which 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 I said earlier I didn't watch. In that case, let's move on to a second movie. Give this a shot? No. Toothless. It'll be fine. Ready?
How to Train a Dragon 2. This is probably my most watched movie of all time. And that along with Godzilla 1998. Now, because... Will, will I be saying too much if I say this? No, I won't. But basically I've got a caravan. And... Like in 2015 and 2014 and 2016. W my, my dad used to put this portable DVD portable DVD player onto the, on, onto my seat. Now it's, I know it's in my room somewhere, but I can't kind of bother to get it. Jeez, got it! I believe it's right there. Ah, but but, but, but I've moved quite a lot to get it. This. And Godzilla 1998, I would watch on repeat until I get there. So, eh, I've got no idea how many times I've lost, lost, watched this movie. I've probably lost count. And I will say, me watching it so many times has impacted the quality of a movie. Because, because as I said here, if I watch the movie so many times, or if I watched it quite recently, it will affect my quality of the screening. Now, figuring for that I've seen this movie like, what, 30 times? And, uh... I, I watched it two times last year. Yeah, I'm quite used to this movie. But as for the actual story, I will say I do really like the story. And I was amazed at the animation at this. Because I remember in the animation f for, for this, there were certain parts of the movie where I was like, Oh no, this movie hasn't aged that well. Meanwhile, in the opening of this movie, I was... Pretty much screaming, yes, 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 this animation is amazing! And uh, I'll stand by that, the animation in this movie is absolutely phenomenal. And as for the story, my, my once again, quite, I'm quite used to it, I can pretty much save the entire script, script off beat. I mean, by, I, I, can, I can pretty much quote the movie off by heart. And uh, I've lost what I was going to say. Ah, yes, my complaints for the movie. My only real complaints with the movie is the side characters. Because 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 I because I know a complaint of all of these movies is that the side characters is the side characters are annoying. I didn't find them annoying. Actually, actually, I will say, actually, I actually found a lot of the humour quite funny in this one. But my main problem with the, main ca with the side characters is that they don't have that much of a character arc. Hiccup is the only one who goes through a character arc in the movie. And, 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 and only counting the movies, not counting the TV shows, these side characters don't have that much personality to them, only counting the movies. But, but, but I will say my favourite side character has to be Eret, voiced by the one true King of the North. If you understand that reference, I love you. And... Uh, was my only real complaint for the movie? This thing should have won the Oscar. I can't believe Big Hero 6 won over this movie. Big Hero 6 is pretty much this movie, just superheroes. <sighs> this movie should have won. Every single one of these movies should have won. None of them won! <laughs> So, so, so is that really all I have to say about How to Train Dragon 2 for now? No. I remember. I remember watching the trailer for this movie. I think it was like the teaser trailer because I know, because I remember it. I think it was just 
I think it was just the scene with Hiccup and Toothless flying through through the clouds. I remember that. I think that scene took up the entirety of the first teaser or trailer, teaser trailer. And I remember. While watching it, I thought I couldn't tell if the movie was live action or if it was animated. The animation was so good I couldn't tell if it was I couldn't tell if it was live action or not until I saw Hiccup's face. I love this movie. I love all of these movies. Now that's all I have to say about the second one for now. Then we have How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World. This is Berk, son. It was the home of your grandparents and their grandparents before them. But out there, beyond the edge of the world, lies the home of the dragons. And I believe it's your destiny to one day find this hidden world. You do know my leg isn't a chew toy, don't you? Is this what you want? Yeah, go get it. Uh, how am I supposed to get down? <laughs> hey, bud, wait up. Well, I started out all alone. He's not the only one. like a bright a light fury yeah yours is better probably there is an armada with enough cages for all of our dragons this is a new kind of enemy we need to find the hidden world i will destroy everything you love toothless no you're nothing without your dragon. If Grimmel succeeds, there won't be any dragons left. And it's up to us to put an end to it. So, what are you gonna do about it? Suit up, gang. Fly on you! We have one shot at this. You brought a baby to a battle? I couldn't find a sitter. <laughs> hidden world. It really does exist. Now that's a king. You're right, bud. It's time. Well, look who it is. <laughs> Not a word. Now, I will say, there are some problems with this movie. My main problem is that the first fifteen, the first fifteen minutes of this movie, there is a, there is a, there is a space, a pacing problem, because it seems like for the first fifty minutes, the movie is going so, f it's going extremely fast. Hell, how long is this movie? How long is this movie? Does it even say? I don't think it even says how long it is. Oh, here we go. An hour and nine minutes, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. What? Feature runtime, an hour and 45 minutes, prox. Yes, yes. An hour and 45 minutes. It's an hour and 45 minutes? Huh. I remember... For the first 50 minutes of this movie. This movie went extremely fast. It, it barely, um, my main problem is that it barely had, it was going so fast. It barely had any time, it, it felt like it barely had any time to establish important parts of the movie. It, 
it just feels like they're just spin out dialogue left and right to try and get it over as fast as possible. Even though, this might be the longest movie in the trilogy. Just give me a second. This one's an hour and 37 minutes, so yeah, so it's longer than that one. How long is this one? An hour and 34 minutes. Apparently, this is the longest movie. Yet it feels like this thing rushes for the first fifth for, for, for the first fifty minutes. I remember. For for those for those first first fifty minutes, I was like Is this movie really as good as I remember it being? But then uh, I, I, I loved everything past the fifty five uh, uh, everything past the fifty minutes. But I, but everything passed for 55 minutes and made up for everything else. I love this movie. I love this movie so much. It is my favorite out of the trilogy. Before this, I would say all of these movies were equal. And I love them all equally. And I prefer them all as one long story. But after watching all of them, I will say How Did Train Dragon, The Hidden World is the definitive winner. How Did Train Dragon, The Hidden World is my favorite movie of 2019. My favorite movie of the trilogy my favorite animated movie of all time and one of my favorite movies ever made. I love this movie. Hell, I loved this movie so much, it's now my most watched movie. Now, I remember, after every single viewing, I would take notes here on my iPad. So, just... Give it a second, I just need to talk before before this loads. In that case, to kill time, I should say, I got a limited edition special of How to Train Dragon of Hidden World from Amazon. And it came with these little tooth. it came with a little toothless and light fury keyring. Now, these would be really good. If I had keys, which I don't, <laughs> so they're kind of useless. <laughs> but to go along with these, I got the pop vinyl. While I, what, what, oh, why did I get this? Yes, I was on holiday when I got this, and I got these two little. Mini dragons. Now, excuse me, I was just killing time there for this to load. Because <sighs> I'm so professional. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking like a fool. I really look like a fool. Got it? No, it's not. Here we go. I've seen this movie six times. This is probably my seventh viewing, but who cares? Uh, I saw it five times in theatres and one time on DVD. My first time watching it in theatres was with both my parents, and I almost cried. But but I'll full on say for college. Okay, it was a very packed theatre. It was like the second day that movie was out, and imagine this is the screen. I was like here watching it. I didn't have a good view of a movie. And a few and no more than two weeks later, I watched it again with one of my dad, and I didn't cry. Now I watched it again for the third time with me and one of my friends. It was my first ever movie seeing it was my first ever movie without a adult. 
and I almost cried. Now, my memorable thing about this theater experience is that I would have cried. I remember I had tears in my eyes. They were about to roll down my face. I was distraught. And then I heard laughing. Well, sniggering. And I turned my head and I saw my friend trying not to laugh. So, I would have cried if he didn't laugh. <laughs> Uh, and he now uses that as blackmail. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I love this movie. He could tell the whole world as far as I care. My fourth time was ten days before my birthday, which is on April the 29th. Don't forget. And I only saw it with my mom, and I remember, I'm not kidding you, I had one tear come down my eye. Now, the next time I saw it was on DVD. Of course, it was only me. I felt the tears coming, but but there weren't any. Now, I watched them another time in cinemas. Now, you might be asking, Oh, Adam, how did you watch it in cinemas? It was out on DVD, that case it wouldn't have been in cinemas. Well, at the holiday place, well, when I was, when I was on holiday, there was this movie screen which would show movies for free. In which one of those free movies was How to Train a Dragon the Hidden World. In which I. It was only me and I cried out, out of both eyes. Now, before this, my most watched movie was either A. The Lego Movie or B. Walking with Dinosaurs the Movie. I am proud of one of those. I'm ashamed of. A, I'm, I'm ashamed of another one. I love all three of these movies. I can't believe it's been ten years. A ten. Well, well a nine-year-long journey. And yes, I saw. And yes, I saw Homecoming. I, f I thought it was all right, but I hated the last minute. In my opinion, the last minute nearly ruined the whole entire thing. But these movies will always have a place in my heart. How to Train Dragon will be known as the movie which entertained me so much as a child. This, 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 this franchise is a franchise that my, that, that my generation can, can say, yes, this is our franchise. Because no other really successful franchise, ha original franchise, has started. It started during that time. Well, excluding the MCU. Well, animated. <laughs> This is the animated franchise which I can say, yes, this is my generation, this is, this is my generation's animated franchise. For How to Train Dragon 2, I can say, this is probably my most watched movie of all time, so, that credit goes to that. Well, this is the movie... I'm not, I'm not centered in frame, I think. Well, this is a movie that has inspired me to become a filmmaker. Avengers Infinity War gave me the idea that yes, you can become a filmmaker. But this movie inspired me to become a filmmaker. So one day, hopefully, I can make a movie series as good as these and, ho and maybe it will have effect on somebody like me. Because my goal isn't to make money, my goal isn't to become famous in, what, in, in the goal of film, in, 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 in the film industry. My goal is to entertain, is to entertain people. That is my goal. 
that is my goal on YouTube, v that is my goal for my life at the moment, I know, I'm 15, almost 16, I'll be turning on April the 29th, make birthday videos for me, and, oh, oh, where was I going? Uh, yes, I know, I'm f f 15, almost 16, and, and, I, and, I, and I already said this, this will probably change over 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 the coming years, but at the moment, I'm in the firm belief that this is the best trilogy of all time. Better than the Dark Knight movies. Better than the Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda movies. Better than the Madagascar movies. Better than the Toy Story movies. <laughs> This franchise is my childhood. I love this franchise. And hopefully I get to talk about it more in the future. Hopefully. Hopefully I get to make hopefully someday I get to make something like this. Anyways, uh, Enough of me sulking here. Dean De Bloss. I know you're not watching this. I know nobody from DreamWorks is watching this. But thank you. Thank you for everything. And hopefully someday, if, if I work up the courage, and if you guys are interested, I'll cover all three of these movies. I would love to. Now I believe that is all from me. I believe I've got nothing else left to say. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And here, isn't Dom Sexy 01 ruined to victory? Ah!